Law Warrior Double Feature, Badger Tracked Transport. Overview. One of the three vehicle types commissioned by Wolf's Dragoons from Blackwell in 3007, Blackwell's production of the Badger remains shrouded in mystery. When originally contracted by the Dragoons, Blackwell was not even able to keep up with replacement actuator orders. Blackwell had no designs or in-house design staff capable of designing and testing a combat vehicle, but less than a year later, Blackwell was turning out Dragoon combat vehicles at the rate of five a month, and still had enough excess capacity to fill orders for Peregrine VTOLs. In hindsight, most observers speculate that the Dragoon supplied Blackwell with the technical specs and machinery needed to produce the Badger, and by doing so, the Dragoons created a secure and independent source of spare parts and vehicles that freed them from the need to return to the clan homeworlds for replacement vehicles and parts. The modular nature of the Badger's weapon systems, strikingly similar to the modular systems used in Clan Omnimex, seems to confirm this theory. Capabilities The Badger is a tracked vehicle used in terrain that precludes the use of hovercraft. It's deployed in an offensive capacity only rarely, because it's handicapped by a light weapon load, lack of ammunition, and comparatively light armour. Typically, the Dragoons use Badgers as infantry transports, the vehicle's lasers provide ample fire support for dismounting infantry in such situations. The spacious interior of the Badger makes the vehicle well suited to transport infantry because the interior greatly reduces fatigue for the embarked infantry. Rather than riding in a cramped, ill-ventilated space wedged between boxes of ammo and rations, infantry troops in a Badger may recline in comfortable seats and store gear in specially designed interior stowage. Though some may scoff at such creature comforts, the difference between rested troops and those fatigued by an uncomfortable cross-country journey often spells the difference between defeat and victory. Deployment The Dragoons have withdrawn the Badger from frontline service and reassigned most to home guard units. Others have been converted to ammo supply vehicles. Additionally, the Dragoons lost many Badgers on Luthien, and some observers speculate that Kirita troops salvaged enough of them to outfit a company. 3058 Upgrade Overview Produced alongside the Bandit, the Badger Transport, with its simple modular weapons design, became a mainstay for the Dragoon's infantry. They developed into a common sight in Dragoon bases, used not only to haul infantry in relative comfort, but also to move cargo and supplies across the rough terrain of many of the worlds the mercenaries have garrisoned over their 60-plus year history. Blackwell Corporation began offering the Badger on the mercenary market in limited quantities, seeing them snapped up even before they rolled off the assembly line. It was common in the early 3050s to have an eight-month waiting list for mercenary purchases on Outreach. As with the Kestrel, the recent destruction of Blackwell Corporation has left the future of this design in doubt. Capabilities Because of its light weapon load, low ammunition stores and light armour, it's rarely used in offensive capacity. Seen mainly in the reserves of the unit, it usually provides fire support for the infantry it carries in its spacious interior. Because of its very simple, modular technology, weapon configurations are a dime a dozen among the Dragoons. Utilising advanced PNP modules and snap light circuits, a Badger can be converted from one configuration to another in a matter of hours. Deployment The Badger had been pulled off Dragoon frontline duty in the wake of the heavy fighting of Luthien in 3051, and after careful consideration, the Dragoons and Blackwell made a conscious decision to begin selling the versatile transport on the mercenary market, a decision that has been very lucrative for Blackwell ever since. Notable crews The Hotbox 5 Assigned to Reed's Roughnecks, part of Major Luca Reed's mercenary unit, Reed's Brew, the five badges assigned to the infantry company have never seen action. If they did, they'd not last five seconds, something the grunts would freely admit. The five badges used by the company are utterly devoid of weapons of any kind. Instead, Captain Iron Man had refitted each badger to be a mobile party machine capable of transforming any patch of ground into an instant extravaganza using the custom-made swing-away panels built into the sides of each badger. Fitted with oversized coolers, filled naturally with Reed's Beer Brew, a mobile entertainment station, a small stage, and even a, a piazza oven, these hot boxes, or booze cruisers as the Roughnecks call them, serve only one purpose, to bring Reed's wild parties wherever he goes. Hulk 
An ornery machine, the Hulk is one of the original badges that came off the first Blackwell production line, sporting a colourful repair history even before sale to Yale's Yardarm, a small mercenary company, shattered by the Oriental Hussars in a border raid in the mid-50s, it lay as a battlefield junk, until happened upon by a salvage team in 3065. Sold at auction to the sand crabs of Helmut's Hermits, the refurbished badger now serves as the primary transport of the combat engineer arm. It's saved the lives of her current crew three times now, and despite the frustration with the transport, the engineers would rather shoot someone who would take it off their hands for a fair price than see it go. So the Badger is a 30-ton tracked vehicle with a 180GM fusion engine, it has a cruise of 65 and a flank of 97 kph. Armour is Protect Tech 6. Its armament is 5 tons of pod space, its manufacturer is Blackwell Corporation, and its primary factory is on Outreach. Communications is a Dalban Starlink 2, and once again, target and tracking is provided by Garrett Fib. It is a interesting little vehicle, this is an Omni vehicle, essentially. Uh, it was equipped with a total of 80 points of armour, giving it 20 on the front, 18 on the sides, 16 on the rear and 8 on the turrets. Not bad for 30 tonnes. It can move 6 and flank 9 across the table, 10 heat sinks, and it has infantry cargo on the back for 4 tonnes, and its primary configuration is 3 medium lasers on the turret and two, uh, an SRM2 on the front with a single tonne of ammo. More than adequate, I'd say, to, uh, to protect the crew and the vehicle uh, from any uh, close-range attackers. It does have other configurations, though. Configuration A switches out the lasers for triple SRM2s in the turret and, a and keeping the uh, front-mounted one, so quite a nasty punch there. Uh, B configuration is a SRM4 in the turret and SRM4 in the body with uh, split ammunition, 25 shots there. C configuration is a pair of LRM5s, one in the turret, one in the body, with 24 shots in total, so 12 per launcher. Uh, alternate configuration D is three medium lasers in the turret and a small in the left and right side with an extra heat sink to, uh, to cover it, which is yeah, an interesting one. A good all-round defense there for the infantry disembarking. And finally, configuration E. Oh, no, not finally, sorry, uh, penultimately. E is six small lasers in a turret and then more small lasers, one in the front, one in the rear, one in the right, one in the left. So all-round small laser fire. That is a light show. And finally, sorry, configuration F, a bit of a late uh, turret. Sorry, a bit of a late um, tech version here is an ER medium in the turret and an ER small in the... Oh, in the turret as well, with extra cargo uh, space for even more infantry. So you've got a lot of options there. It's a, it's a cool-looking little vehicle, very anime-inspired, I'd say, personally. It's... Yeah, it's decent. I, I like it. it. It looks cool. Uh, it's got lots of options available uh, for anyone uh, in their little mercenary company might want to, obviously... Uh, be able to outfit the the party or the crew with some uh, half decent uh, defensive options there in a, in a transport vehicle. It's yeah, it's nice. Uh, I I could see using this in uh, larger scale battles, or as the kind of thing that these would be transporting some mercenary infantry to the front line. The players in the lance are you know covering them as they move in. Uh, they get, you know, if enough of them survive, they get to location, disembark their infantry, the vehicles stick around for a, a turn or so firing at, at targets, and then they, you know, get GTFO while the infantry do the busy work and the players are still supporting them in their mechs kind of thing. Yeah, some cool, like, scenarios that you can come up with there. Um, even as enemies, it's not too bad as well. Players trying to shoot them before they can get close enough to disembark their infantry that might be equipped with, uh, you know, man pack PPCs and SRMs, that kind of thing. So there's there's some threat there. Uh, they're not ridiculously well armoured, but there's enough. I mean, 20 points of armour on the front is pretty decent. It can take uh, a solid hit or two from uh, mid-range uh, ballistics and, and lasers, uh, even a few large laser hits before it has to consider changing... Uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's decision about uh, about running headlong with the max, but yeah, I mean the even the primary configuration isn't too bad. I mean three medium lasers is a pretty decent punch of an SRM at the front. Uh, it does give it the ability to reach out and hit targets. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, could definitely see using that in the future. So yeah, uh, the Badger track transport, nice nice little vehicle. Anyway, rambled enough. I'll uh, I'll catch you all next time. Thanks for watching, listening. I don't know. Uh, have a good one. Bye.